he will be shocked as Father Mbaka has released another statement about Buhari again. Remember that he has been warned even by the very ministries to which he works, that he should leave politics to politicians, he should not speak. A few days ago, he, he told everybody, please, hmm, stop, stop, uh, you know, he's, he said he's praying for Nandi Kano. And you know what, you know the funniest thing? People told him to stop praying for Nandi Kano. And he asked the question, why will I stop praying for Nandi Kano? Is he not a human being that needs prayer like every other person? How come people have just condemned him because he's fighting, uh, you know, for people's liberty? And he feels, you know, this administration have not done well in you know, mending bridges, rather they've created more bridges. So why are you asking me to stop praying for him? I mean, what are the promise of what you are saying? What do you mean by what you're saying? What do you really mean by that? You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. I will never ask anybody to vote for Buhari van der Mbaka. The Catholic priest and spiritual director of Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka, has said he did not ask anybody not to vote for President Muhammad Buhari or ask them to vote. In 2015, Buhari came to us, all Nigerians, showing what he can do to change the country and to make things better. Nigerians believed him, not because I said vote or don't vote. He claimed the only declaration a revelation he received about Buhari becoming president was in 2015. I received it then that he would become the president, but that was it. Father Baka, who said this in his 2022 New Year's message, also raised an alarm of a plot to kill him after a role with the Catholic Diocese of Enugu in May last year. He said, with what is happening now, I will not ask anybody to go ahead and vote Buhari. This came after the Catholic priest, who was known as an adjet supporter of President Muhammad Buhari, asked the president to resign or be impeached for bad governance, as things had turned from bad to worse. In response, the presidency alleged that Mbaka was angry because he, his request for contract was rebluffed. Given in his New Year message, Father Mbaka recounts how he was asked to shut down his adoration ministry in Enugu for one month and embark on a retreat by the Catholic bishops of the Enugu Diocese, who cautioned him against mending into politics for speaking the truth. Addressing his followers on New Year Day, Father Mbaka said, You know, they gave me an order at the time not to come near adoration ground again till 30 days. Somebody was summoned to a meeting, he said. It was in the meeting I went for, but I did not know it was a plan. It was in that panic that they gave me an order not to conduct adoration ministry for 30 days and until I would rather enter my house 30 days later, not just the ministry, but also my house, I could not go in. I was asked to just move elsewhere, out of my house and out of the church premises ground. He said he obeyed the bishop order, but that the Holy Spirit ministered to him that he should not park elsewhere or anywhere. I don't know I was being tracked that traced that night. Before the next day, you people started searching for me. That was how they carried me away. The plan was to capture me that night and drag me to Kubana's hotel and take me on the mob where prostitutes stayed and they would take over and then show the video in the public that I was in a brothel and I was a fake man of God. Then they again dragged me to Igbo, another spot of prostitutes where they planned to naked themselves with me and take pictures and discredit me. This did not also happen. Fanabaka said he has revealed his, his initial apology to the church leaders and re re release to the people, the treatment he received and how he was badly treated. Can you see what this administration is doing? Because this man, you know, is speaking and is saying things that were going on were wrong. See what they planned for him. 
when he was speaking for Buhari, nobody said anything. Remember they said then that he was angry because they did not give him a contract. Remember? Yeah, we produced you that, that news as well. Father Gwaka said there was nothing like that, that he really received from God, that in 2015, Buhari was going to become the country's president, but not 2019. And when he received it and, you know, with the whole security situation and the man doing nothing, he had to speak and ask him, oh God, I, I, I saw these things and I told people then that, you know, God told me you were going to be the president. But if you don't want to govern these people accordingly to the laws of God and do the right thing, please resign. Guess what? The presidency responded. The presidency responded. They wrote a message, put it out there. That Father Mbaka was bitter because they did not give him contract. And like children going back in memory lane, how he brought some people, you know. And Father Mbaka explained. He said, listen, this people came to me. And they said, since you know the president, can you please, we need this contract. And guess what? What those guys wanted to get this contract for would have bettered Nigeria. The presidency rejected it. They don't even want the country to change. What these guys, the contract they were going to be implementing would have created jobs, which would have been, you know, a plus to the administration. But guess what? They don't even want to create jobs for the people. They like things the way they are. You'll be shocked. You know, they, 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 they benefit, they enjoy the chaos that is going on, you know, is a booster to them. They benefit greatly from the chaos and the way the things are in the country. You know, they benefit greatly. You are the one who think that they want change. My dear, should I interest you? They are enjoying the way things are currently and do not want anything altered. They are quite comfortable, candid. They want things to remain the way it is. But I said, no, I did not go there to start seeking contract for myself. And, the, and these guys had to prove to me that this was the contract they were seeking, which would create job. When people have idea, what do they collaborate with government? Okay, to bring about this change. They collaborate with government, with people, to bring about things that will bring, you know, betterment for the people. However, Buhari's administration rejects every form of thing that could better the country or better Nigeria. Is that a good leader? It's a question. Is that a good leader? Think about it and then make out your own prognosis. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. Is bye for now. Bye.